Welcome to Computer Tech TV. I am Rick Arder, and today I'll be doing a review on the Sunbeam Tech Real Smart 6 fan controller. Before I open the package, I'd like to tell you guys a little bit about this fan controller, some of the specifications and features. It's a six channel fan controller with a max output of 30 watts per channel, features auto and manual control for the fans, has PWM control and what they call the smart cooling system. Uh, the part number on this is PL RS 6. It is a PWM manual fan controller. Comes in black. The material is aluminum and mesh. DC input is 12 volts with a standard 4 pin connector. DC output is 0 volts to 12 volts DC. Max output 30 watts on 6 channels. There's 6 3 pin fan connectors with 6 RPM knobs as well as buttons on it to switch between auto and manual mode. This fits in a 5.25 inch drive bay and the dimensions are 148 millimeters wide by 42 millimeters high by 82 millimeters deep. The Rio Smart 6 fan controller operates in two modes. When connected to the PWM enabled motherboard it can allow the system to auto adjust fan speeds through the motherboard's temperature sensors. When switched on to manual mode by pressing the small button below each knob you turn that specific channel into a manual control mode. Basically what comes inside, you have the controller, you have three, pan, three pin fan monitoring cable, there's two of those. There's also two three pin to four pin converter cables and two three pin extension cables. Also included is one PWM cable, four installation screws, and a Sunbeam Tech logo to mount onto the fan controller if you so desire. One thing I can say I like about the Sunbeam Tech Rio Smart 6 fan controller is if you're not purchasing online and you were in a store, they give you all kinds of pictures and information on the product to let you know exactly what you're getting before you bring it home and find out that it might not be exactly what you thought it was. So now, what I'm going to do is open this up and we'll take a look at everything that comes inside and I'll hook it up for you guys and show you exactly how it works and what it looks like while hooked up. Alright, let's open up the Rio Smart 6 fan control and I'll show you guys exactly how it's all packaged and all the accessories that come inside. It's our white box that holds all of our stuff. And this is how it comes packaged here. On top you have your user's manual. It basically shows you what's included and how to install everything. There you go. Here's all your fan leads as I went over a second ago. All of those there. You got your PWMs, your three pins, and your four pin to three pin adapters. And also to note is you can hook your fans directly up to this controller. These cables here are just adapters and extension leads. So you can use them if you need to. If not, you can just hook them directly up. Here's the fan controller itself, very nice, black mesh. You can see you got your six RPM controlling knobs there as well as the auto and manual buttons. And this is made out of all aluminum. Some very nice heat sinks on there to keep everything cool. And as well here you can see it's where you hook up your PWM fan and the rest of your 3 pin fans and this is where you supply the power via a Molex connector. So there's that. And here's our little Sunbeam Tech badge there which can be placed anywhere on the controller or on your case or if you don't want to install it you don't have to. And here's your standard fan screws to install it into your case. Now what I'll do is uh, I'll hook this fan controller up and I'll show you guys what it looks like while it's in operation as well as I'll hook a fan or two up to show you guys exactly what it's like when it's running. I've got the fan controller hooked up to a temporary power supply as well as I'm running a 120 millimeter 3 pin case fan here just to show you guys how it all works. And as you can see I've got the 4 pin Molex to power it as well as the 3 pin going into the fan controller. And as you can see we have all the green lights lit up. This is the manual mode. If you switch it the button below to red, you'll see the fan shuts off because this is when it's controlled by the motherboard on the auto mode. So I'm going to switch that back. And when you adjust this knob, the good thing I can say that I really like about this fan controller is it can control your fan from zero all the way up to maximum 12 volts. 
a lot of fans won't actually start running till about 5 volts, anywhere from 5 volts to 7 volts. So if you have a fan that, you know, is a 7 volt fan like this one is here, once I turn it down, you know, a little past halfway, it's going to shut the fan completely off. You can see we're still running there, but once I go down to 25, it shuts the fan off. And that's just because it's out of the range of the, where the fan's voltages are. Not a problem with the controller or the fan, that's just how they're made. So that gives you guys a little bit of an overview there on, you know, how it works and what it looks like. One thing I do like as well is uh, some of these Sunbeam controllers and s as well as some other uh, fan controllers on the market, the LEDs on them are blinding. This one is very nice. The mesh covers up the green and, LED green and red LEDs quite good, so you're able to see them, but if you look directly at it, it's not going to blind you like some of the ones out there on the market. So that's one good thing. So if you guys were looking for a fan controller that had super bright LEDs to light up your whole room at night, this is definitely not the one for you. And like I said, uh, green and red. So if you're wanting to do something that matches your case and it's not green or red, this might not be the fan controller for you. However, I really don't think that's such a big deal. Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically what it looks like hooked up. That concludes this video on the Sunbeam Tech Rio Smart 6 fan controller. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below this video or send me a personal message. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Rate this video when you get done watching it. And you guys all have a great day. Lots more videos to come.